This video is brought to you by none other than Hire Heroes, you guys. Hire Heroes is your one-stop shop when it comes to virtual staffing and making sure that you have qualified talent with your business. One thing that I love about Hire Heroes, you guys, is they've actually gone through the process already of vetting and making sure that your staff member is well trained to best fit your needs. Whether you need help with social media work, posting things on your accounts, responding to people that send messages to your social media accounts, whether you need help with data entry or a multitude of other things that they're qualified to do, Hire Heroes has got you covered. If you're having trouble finding quality talent and number two, affording to be able to run payroll for that talent, Hire Heroes has got you covered with an affordable alternative to have a virtual assistant working for your business. There's a link down in the description of this video to where you can learn more about getting your own VA through Hire Heroes. I certainly recommend it. They're what we use in our business for all of our virtual assistant needs, and you will want to make sure that you check them out today. And we are live. What's up, everybody? Um, Christian Brindle coming to you guys, and I am joined with, depending on which group you're watching this in, and um, Andrew Lee, the admin of California Insurance Agents, um, top producing agent in the under 65 world, top producer for Manhattan Life. Um, dude, dude is a beast, and today we are going to be talking about networking like a pro at events and getting the most information and value extracted as possible and having a lot of fun. And there's nobody better at that than Andrew. Um, so bro, how are you doing today on a Friday um, evening? I'm well, you know, we're in California time right now. So it's still 411. Hence the, uh, and it's also the daylight saving. So the sun is up and I'm just happy about that because I can still after this get a bunch of other stuff done. Um, whereas everybody else is partying. And uh, having some <laughs> yeah. nightcaps and, <laughs> but yeah, all is well. How about you, Christian? Yeah, I, I know you did a bunch of interviews today, and then uh, this is uh, number seven for you, number six. Dude, one 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 thing that people don't know about me is it's pretty common that I will shoot video. I'll shoot content in bunches, so I will yeah. record like a bunch of content all in one day, and then I won't shoot for like a week straight. Yeah. Um, so that, that's pretty normal for me, man. It's just like, it's just how I like to do it. Everybody's different. Some people like to like shoot one video every single day, you know, and like they don't spend a ton of time every day, but they shoot one every day for me. I, I just, I just prefer to get it all done and then I can focus on other things in my business the rest of the week. That's what I'm saying, man. What it's yeah. about. It's what it's I about. Know. Um, I know. So, Events, right? Let's talk about events. First thing I wanted to start off with is talking about this um, networking event that you got. I think it's your first one, if I remember correctly, um, for the California Insurance Agents Group, right? So that tell tell me a little bit about that event. I'm going to be at it. Where tell me tell, but tell the audience a little bit about that. Yeah, which is uh, you know supposed to be a secret, but not a secret anymore. Everybody knows that you're going to be there. <laughs> um, so. Well, the, the the reason why I started that that California insurance agents group is just because, you know, me going to all these conferences and being the only one representing, you know, I thought it was only Southern California, but pretty much all of California. There's me and maybe a couple other people. Like George Beach was another OG yeah. that you know would show up to those kind of uh, events and basically mm -hmm. basically just be us and maybe some other San Diego people, you know, and then. I'd find out later on that they're from California, just, you know, so I figured, Hey, what, like, what are we doing? We're the sixth largest economy in the world. And, you know, we have the <laughs> highest like Medicare advantage, like com commissions and uh, Los Angeles is a hotbed for IMOs and FMOs and all these, you know, carriers and downtown LA has a bunch of, it's a home to a lot of carriers as well too. So I was like, we have yeah. a lot to offer. We have a lot to offer. But what I've noticed is one, one, um, um, I guess one common commonality with uh, a lot of California agents is like, they're pretty much like lone wolves and they're just like killing it. And nobody knows it. They're just like sort of confined to California. So I sort of wanted people that are non, you know, resident producers um, to, you know, if you're, if you're in California to, to, to do their business better. And then if you're in California, you know, 
let's let's team up you know let, let's let's start doing california things together in terms of insurance um so that was uh my intentions of starting that and of course there's no you know better way to get everybody together um like some margaritas and <laughs> on, on, on a sunday and uh you know just talking shop and you know just fellowshipping you know so um i you know one of the biggest things for california we're a big state and you know most of the people in the group are scattered for the most part uh but the, southern california just happens to have a centralized kind of uh there's i guess there's more agents here so chose a location in long beach um lbc you know you've heard, you guys have heard about lbc um and just because it was a centralized location and i'm uh, just glad to see and meet um all, all the people that are going to show up so i'm stoked especially you coming out that, that's going to be really fun i'm excited for it like i was telling my wife i haven't been to california in and it, it it might be like seven eight years since the last time i was in california it's been a long time so i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to the beautiful weather um and you know spending some time with you spending some time with some great agents right right that we work with in the area but also getting to meet a lot of people that i didn't know before um and getting to spend some time and so I think it's going to be great. Um, if you guys are anywhere around the vicinity in the California area, in that kind of area, um, you know, I, there was someone I was talking to pretty recently. They're like, they're going to be driving a few hours to get there, but it's worth it, right? Because it's there's not really anything like that happening for agents just for California. Um, so like, shout out to you, brother, for putting this on and, um, you know, kind of hosting the thing. And I'm just excited to get to be a part of it. And and spend some time with um, some really, really cool people and some really cool agents um, and have some fun while we do it. We are going to have fun, man. You and I have spent a ton of time together at events. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, like, I don't think there's another person I've spent more time with at an event, like one-on-one -on -one than, than you. Um, and one thing I noticed about you, you know, kind of, kind of segueing to the topic at hand for this training today for the stream um, and that's how to be a pro at networking at events. Andrew Lee is a pro at networking <laughs> at events. It, it could be anybody. It could be like, um, you know, Patrick bet David and Andrew's all of a sudden like at the bar with him <laughs> and they're like having a conversation. Um, what is your secret to just spend having these incredible like experiences sometimes late into the night with people that are like headliners for an event. What's your well, secret? I mean, there's no magic sauce, man. It's just, I think it's the sauce itself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I mean, Hey, look, if you're going to go into, I, so I think the first event that I went into, um, that I went to, uh, was, uh, what is it? Cody's event, 8% nation. And I think yeah. that was sort of ground zero for um, a lot of new like agents that are friends today that, you know, are sort of uh, popular on Facebook and, and the groups, you know, they've, they've all sort of met initially, I, I guess there, that's where it started. And, you know, there's, there's a lot that can happen at events, right? I mean, you throw your, your event as well too. There's, you know, we're in event season right now, since we're out of, you know, the yeah. AP and all that stuff and uh, almost done with uh, OEP. So, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's event season right now. And you know what a lot of people, you're going to pay money to go out there, you're going to either take an airplane ride for three to five hours, you know, to go to wherever you're going to go to, you might as well make the most of it, right. And, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not there networking, and you're just, you know, just sort of sponging information, I guess that's your way of processing things. And uh, that's great and all but as everybody knows, you know, you have all these uh, great speakers on stage, and you know, not not everything is going to really 100% resonate with you because it might not be your line. It might not be, you know, the type of like hoorah or type of message that you gravitate towards. Um, all the good stuff happens, you know, when you're uh, in the same field as somebody and somebody's doing really well or, you know, you just sort of been looking at this person from afar, not in a creepy way, but um, just admiring what they're doing and just go up to them and say, hey, uh, you know, really like what you're doing. And, uh, you know, I, I really follow your stuff. And you know what, you know, that specific video that I watched or that that post that you made, uh, that actually really helped me out. So I, I appreciate that. You know, I think one, one of the biggest ones for me, this is a really funny, I don't know if, if she's listening, this is uh, embarrassing and funny. But um, I remember I was I was at 
one of the eight percent nations and you know the night before me and galen hendrix which is uh, uh mama galen she's awesome she's you know she's a uh, um, senior security benefits and you know just a great you know mentor in terms of like stacking plans which which is what I do, you know, I, I went up to her and I said, Hey, mm -hmm. you know, I know you're speaking tomorrow and, uh, you know, just from afar, I've been admiring, you know, what you do and, uh, you know, just glad to pick your brain here. And, uh, and then the next day she gave me sort of like a tiny shout out on stage, not the biggest thing in the world, but just, you know, just did that. And I was like, man, that meant the world to me. Like, you know, that gives you like that empowered me, you know? And then, um, at that point from, from then on, I was, you know, I, I, you know, I had a little bit more confidence in, in what I did and, you know, how I worked. And so that, that kind of stuff helps out a lot. You know, it's just a matter of getting yourself out there. If you're not the type to, to, to be like very like social and go out, go out of your way and be like, you know, huh, or like have, you know, the best jokes to crack or, you know, have like the, the best stories or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Just, just staying just sort of like shadowing just hanging out while other people are talking and if you're an introvert kind of uh, person that's okay too that you're still going to get you mm -hmm. know what you need to get out of it uh you know just i would say the number one thing is to bring value to the conversation or at the very least bring value to your presence um within that kind of group circle because um it's a little weird if you don't <laughs> yeah <100. laughs> you're like who's that guy <laughs> There's that guy sitting over there, um, <clears throat> keeps looking at Andrew. Don't know why, but um, 100%. I think, you know, everything you said is just so spot on. And, um, you know, the first time, so the first like actual event event that I actually went to, you know, I, I kept ducking 8% a couple of years, um, was the first Medicare con, which was actually not even called Medicare con. It was called the Medicare Gurus Mastermind. And um, that was the first time I met you in person. Right. And a, bun a bunch of people in person. That was the first time I met Rebecca Davis in person. That was the first time I met Joanna in person, Joe Tritola, uh, Andrew Strange, bunch of people. And um, I remember going into the event. I was asked to be a speaker, and I was like, I was like, I was like, there's probably two people at this event that I've met in person before. I'm like, I hope this isn't weird or anything like that. And it totally was not. Wow. And, and I know, yeah. you know, and that's coming from me, guys. Like as somebody that um, has a lot of conversations, a lot of, all the time with agents. Um, but it was, it, it was not like that whatsoever. It was like seeing people that you've had conversations with and networked with. And it's like, it, 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 the, the vibe is you've known these people you're like for years and it's like, it's like a family, you know, it's just a lot of fun. Um, and just the conversations you have, and maybe you, maybe you make a connection at an event, right? And this connection is great. You have a good conversation there, but then you keep having that relationship outside of the event. And six months later, you have a phone call with them and they give you a nugget that transforms your business, right? It's those relationships that I think are yeah. the most valuable, right? It might not even be something that yeah. was said at the event in person to you, but that relationship might end up becoming something that can turn into something that can help your business a lot. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a big advocate for events. You know, I just don't, yeah. I don't understand people that hate on them, honestly, because there are those out there too. Yeah, I get it. You know, it's, it's like, I guess the, the biggest complaints I've heard about events is, you know, like, do you really like have to talk to all these people? They're sort of, you know, we're just talking about insurance and it's sort of dorky just talking about insurance the whole time. I was <laughs> like, well, if you think about it like that, yeah, we are talking, you know, but Here's the thing. Do we really talk about insurance that much? You know, besides, you know, not maybe a really. breakout panel. No, we do not. Not you really. Know, we talk about life. We talk about, you know, wisdom. We talk about, you know, just we're just breaking bread, you know, and then, then um, a nugget or two will come in to the conversation if you're like, wait, hold up. So if you're thinking like that, then when you do um, that for your for your business, whoops, um, for your business, uh, then you know, like, how do you do that? And then it starts getting into that kind of conversation and it just organically happens, you know? And then, um, for example, Christian, right. I met him for the first time a couple of years ago and, you know, ever since then, but we didn't really talk about insurance. Like I Not already knew all. what he, yeah, I already knew what he was up to and he sort of knew what I was up to. And we're just like, all right, cool. Let's hang out. Totally. You know? Like, I think we talked about anything, but insurance. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about like drumming. I remember <laughs> we were talking about like, I'm talking about man, we're, we're just the dumbest. Like we're just 
you want to start a band <laughs> yeah yeah like you know we're, we're listing off like top fives you know like top five 90s bands and andrew's like okay and like <laughs> And uh, um, just, yeah, so we're just, but, dude, like, yeah, like, and, just mess and around, you know, it's always fun. Yeah, absolutely. And like, you know, that, that's, that's what it's all about to me. And, um, those relationships is really the, the key to the events to me guys. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Sandra said, what are we naming our band? Um, I'll get back to you, Sandra. Andrew's more of a naming the band kind of guy. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, that's well, my these, skill these, set. Well, well, these chicks don't even know the name of our band, you know. <laughs> <laughs> call back, call back to uh, Eminem's one of my favorite Eminem songs. Uh, but Sandra, <laughs> well, we'll let you know. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're definitely in the know. So you're, you're not going to be allowed. You're, you're going to be one of the first. <laughs> you're going to be one of the first to know. Uh, <laughs> so, so, um, guys, while we're talking, you guys have any questions, networking questions, any topics you want us to kind of bat around a, a little bit. Throw them in the throw them in the chat, you know, because we're going to be making sure that we go through them and um, touching on any topics you guys want us to address. But um, Andrew, talk about some events you're going to be at in the next six months. You said it's event season. What events outside of the summit are you, are you planning on attending? Um, so my next one. So obviously the the the, the most uh, depressing one right now is going to be um, my event at uh, in Long Beach at the Mescalero. So downtown Long Beach. Um, so that event is, again, it's just a hangout kind of situation, right? It's just, uh, you know, step one, let's just get to know each other. Let's show face and just, you know, and again, just camaraderie and just have, I, I want everybody just to have fun. And, yeah. you know, if somebody like learns a nugget or two, uh, about picking anybody else's brain, like I, I'll learn something from anybody, you know? So that's going to be the number one thing. And I'm just very excited to see how everybody in California sort of operates in their own, um, how they respectively, you know, treat their own business. So I'm really stoked about that. Um, also I'm going to be at Medicare con, which is going to be in Vegas next month. And that's Justin Brock's event. Like we were mentioning a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks here. Uh, yeah, a couple of weeks here actually. Yeah. So a couple of weeks here. So I'll be there. Is that the is that the seventh or the fourteenth or anyways? Um, so I'll be there. I'll be at um, what is that? What's next after that? May. There's something in May, right? No. Oh no. So well, I have the uh, the SSV trip. The so for um, senior security benefits, they have a yearly golf thing in Fort Worth. So I'll be there, and then also uh, your event, <laughs> right? Let's uh. Let's let's go over the fact that Christian Brindle has one of the most successful uh, Medicare events. Uh, and how long how long were you going for? Like, wh when was your first uh, summit, bro? Last year was the first year. So Amazing. this is year this is year dose. This is your and, dose. And I think you killed it last year. That was the perfect amount of everything, right? The the perfect time length, the perfect uh, speakers. You know the. The networking is pretty, you know, consolidated. Everybody's just in one place kind of thing. Everybody did a pretty good job of being organized. Um, a lot of side chatter about, you know, projects together. That's the kind of stuff that you want to see. And at Christian's event, I've never been to um, Utah. I've never been to Salt Lake City as an adult. Um, but that was also cool um, checking out with all the people that showed up. And, you know, that, <laughs> that was a good time as well, too. So. With, with Christian, I mean, he, his, his events, uh, I guess have a, 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 I guess a little more different feel from like, I guess the 8% and stuff like that. It's just, we're concentrated on, you know, the niche that we're in. And then, you know, it's very heavily um, featured with a lot of uh, people in our industry, uh, specifically Medicare. And then, you know, you even had Rebecca Davis talking about ACA last year and Brad Hannon as yep. well too, which is really cool. And then, you know, some life insurance and you have a, uh, you know, Justin Thomas doing his, you know, digital um, marketing, you know, uh, uh, talking, you know, there's just a lot of Eric Fierro talking about a CRM. There's just so much not to miss out on. Right. So um, I, I, you know, I, I love events and the, the, the gold for me is, like I said, the, the late nights, like I haven't really learned too much, uh, like with somebody like doing a, Hey, everybody stand up. 
all right, stand <laughs> uh, sit down, stand up, sit down. Okay, great. Like, <laughs> yeah. take three breaths and all right, we good. <laughs> like, nah, like, uh, you know, that, if it starts off like that, I'm like, all right, cool. You, are we like, are you trying to like just do a, <laughs> a, a thing where you're like, we're doing hypnosis right now. We're and, doing a, a sales training. And, and, and Andrew's, <laughs> Andrew's the guy. At, got, got, if you've never been to an event with Andrew Lee, everybody, Andrew's the guy that will purchase the live stream and he's in the building. <laughs> And he'll sit in his hotel room and live stream this shit. And um <laughs> we'll see him like at three or four o'clock and then he's ready to go. He's ready to go, you know. Like <laughs> I've yeah. never seen anything like that before. It's like I, I like I'm I also like, working. I'm also I was in, working. I was in tears the first time I saw an to event. I was like, wait, you did what? <laughs> it's like, wait, is that him at the pool right now with his iPad? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, so uh, again, I, I I mean, we're joking and all, but I mean, everybody would agree. Anybody that goes to conferences will agree that most of the the gold is the networking. I mean, just the, the just the talking like, you know, you you can I mean, like, for example, let's talk about how we met. Right. And um, yeah, I guess it was a brief just like, hey, what's up, Christian? I'm Andrew. Like, yeah. here I am, right? Like, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, and then, you know, it just turned into, I don't know what we were talking about, but it just turned into, yeah, like, cool. Yeah, we're here. Um, I went up to Eric Fierro the first time I met him in uh, Medicare Con. Oh, yeah. Same time. I, was that the same time I met you, right? About, I think so. I think yeah. Same event. I went up yeah. to him and I was like, hey, Eric, you, you don't know who I am, but you're, you're going to like me. You're going to freaking like me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll never forget. Eric told me a story one time and he told me about the, the time he met Andrew. And I remember this so well. Eric says he, you know, he's out to dinner. I think he said he was out to dinner or something with, you know, a small group of people and, 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 and you're there. And Eric is like, Eric is like, just some of the things that he was saying to people, he's just <laughs> like, and he's, he's, he said, he told a story, like someone was talking about like how they still use the fax machines and, <laughs> and, and Andrew, Andrew's like, Andrew's like, fax machines, you fax things. I'll fax your face, bro. And like, <laughs> just like, well, with context, and, I had a fax thing on my phone, and I was like, see, here, I just faxed your face right now. <laughs> <laughs> and and I wasn't even there for that. And Eric told me that story, and I just laughed, like it felt like I was there, you know, like <laughs> I was off somewhere else that night. But um, no, it's it, guys, it's just it's it's getting in the room. It sounds cliche, and you know, you hear people say it all the time and most of the time they're just trying to get you buy a ticket. Um, let's just call it what it is, but they say, get in the room. Like, but it's true. You know, you get in the room and these experiences happen and these relationships get formed and these relationships are ongoing to where like you can, you can pick somebody's brain about something. Once you get build that relationship, you can, um, you know, run something by them and kind of get counsel from someone that like you might aspire to be like in a certain way right in your business. And I feel like for me that that that's really what events are all about. You know, the stage time is cool, the speakers are great and everything like that, but the the real value like Andrew was Andrew said is it's just those 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 experiences, those conversations and those relationships and and those relationships can pay dividends for years, Absolutely. you know, cuz you you'll stay in touch with those people. Yeah, another cliche is your network is your net worth and I I think that's really true if you're like rubbing elbows with the right people and just hanging out with the right people and you know if you're just talking about work all the time you know you're not really gonna be friends because you know then at that point you're just talking about work all the time and you yeah. know a lot of you have you know anything else better to do but just talk about work all the time um which i get i understand that people showed up and they paid money to get information from certain people but you know there's only certain you know amount of times where you know people would completely click you know and you know be the like just hit it off right away you know um and and that's okay. Not everybody's like that, but mm -hmm. um, what I would recommend is, you know, if, if like again, if you're like that, um, just just make sure that you know, just bring in as much value as possible. You know, if you find that like Christians my like sort of my age and you know, sort of my you know, I guess my type type of guy. You know, he's a, he, so you know, we clicked. You know, there's but there's obviously other people that I've been to at events where I haven't clicked with. You know, that sure. uh, you know, I did want to click with or you know, had the possibility of being like, Hey, we could, you know, maybe do something together in the future or, you know, something like that. And, 
you know, it is just what it is, though. You know, I, I just didn't really click with it. We, we didn't hit it off. And that's fine. You know, you yeah. don't have to hit it off with everybody. But, you know, just finding the one, two, three, four, five people that uh, you meet, uh, you know, it's uh, if you go to these things, they're most likely like two day, three day events. So you guys are eating together. You guys are, you know, sort of like, again, like summer camp, like we're um, you, you eat together, you know, you sort of like roam together, just like, oh, who's next? Well, let me sit. Can I sit here? You know, that kind of stuff. You know, that's always, always going to be good because, you know, just sitting next to somebody, even uh, even though you're not supposed to talk or, you know, when people are <laughs> presenting, you know, there's some information that uh, I've received that I think was life changing by going to these events. So I, I could yeah. rave about them, you know, and I love them. And that's the reason why I like traveling. Um well, another reason is I do like traveling, you know, and that, that's also a perk as well, too. Um, yeah. So, yeah, there's many ways to to, to, it, to do an event, you know. It's it's a workcation, guys. It's, you, it's, a, it's a tax deduction. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it I mean, you write the whole thing off. Um, someone asked a really good question in the chat here. But, but, but before we get to that, I just wanted to piggyback on something. Like, um, there's been people that, like, I have this perception of at events and – you know, for, and then like I meet them in person, they're completely different. And maybe like I might want to do business with them. Maybe like going into the event, I'm like, I, I want to do business with that person. But then I go to the event and I see them in real life, right? Like, and they're not behind a computer screen. They're not behind like, you know, a keyboard or whatever. And it's like, it's almost like a way of vetting someone you might want to do business with, right? Like it, it doesn't mean they're not great people. It's just like Andrew said, maybe you just don't click. It just, yeah. it, it, it's not the same kind of, um, you know, your perception is like, oh, I think they're a cool person, but maybe like, they're not, they're not for me, you know, right. kind of thing. And, and, and there's been people I've met with where I like, I have this perception of them then going in, I'm like, oh, I'm like, you know, and it could be anything, you know, I'm like, oh, I thought this guy was like six, five and they're like four feet tall. This is weird. You know, and like, and that, or, Glenn, or Glenn Shelton the other way around. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> and it doesn't mean, doesn't mean if they're not six, five, that, it, that it's a deal breaker. You know, Eric <laughs> Fierro is one of my homies till death. Um, and Eric's Eric's, Eric, I was, I thought Eric would be taller until I met him in person. And, and, but, uh, <laughs> but, but God no, bless guys, you like, out there, Eric. God bless you. Eric. <laughs> and, and I mean, Eric, what Eric, what Eric lacks and Heidi makes up for and, in, everything in else. genius and everything yeah. else but like so good question someone dropped in the comments here right they said as a newer california a aca agent um how can networking events help me and i think you are the best person to answer this how do i find them in my local area in san diego what are good professions associations to target um for me to form relationships that's a good question so you know funny enough i started my aca career in san diego so um what I actually, you know, you know, so here's the deal about California and that this is what I was talking about before. There's not too many networking events in California, like let alone like I don't know any of the agents except for my old coworkers that were, I used to work at a call center in San Diego. I was in uh, like Claremont Mesa area. I don't know if you're if you know, and that's Christina that asked that question. Um, but I was there. I was working sort of at a call center. And those are the only people I knew that was working insurance uh, besides, you know, the competitor down the street. And, you know, I just didn't really care to network with anybody. You know, I had a, you know, ask and see LOA job and, you know, I didn't really care to, to network. And that wasn't really part of my like networking for insurance was never part of my agenda when I was doing that at, at the time. And then, you know, when I first started uh, finally, you know, doing my own gig and, you know, not being LOA, that's when I started, you know, networking. And the only things the only networking events out there were out of state pretty much. And, you know, there are some for like PNC, there are some for like mindset stuff and, and not just specifically like, you know, what, what you're trying to like drive it into what, like what we're trying to do, which is, you know, for, for Christian, it's Medicare. Uh, for me, it's ACA and Medicare, uh, Christian is Medicare and ACA. Uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I want uh, PNC agents to come out. I want annuity agents to come out, come out. I want, you know, I want everybody to come out. So. I guess I don't know if that answered your question, but I, I don't know if there's any in your local area. So I, I I recommend coming out. So I know some people are coming out from San Diego to to come up to Long Beach because then again, if you go on like meetup.com or something like that and you look up insurance professionals, they're not vetted. You know, I don't I don't know who they are, you know. So yeah. I, don't, I don't really if I show up anyways, I don't like in, in my situation, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything like that, but from what I've learned is 
you know, I don't want to be the smartest guy in the room. I'd like, I already know what you're talking about. Like, I want to learn new things, you know, and I want to meet new people that are doing innovative things that I'm not doing. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I want to see. That's the kind of stuff that uh, I wish you would see as well, too, by coming out to these things. Um, I guess the second part of your question is what are what are good professions associated uh, or associations to target for to form relationships? I mean, that's anybody, to be honest, like it's a that, that, that literally could be anybody. I first thought it was going to be just like your, you know, CPAs. If you're doing ACA in, in California, we still have the tax penalty for not having health insurance. So you want to go to CPA and be like, hey, did anybody complain about them having to pay a tax penalty? Like, you know, um, that's a referral right there. Right. So that, that you can do that. You could also um, go to PNC agencies and, you know, fill, do that. I have lawyers, I have doctors, you know, it's, it's just like, it, it could be a crap. It could be like anybody actually, uh, an advocate, somebody that's just like, un, I have an unemployed person that just tells everybody that I'm good at what I do because like, <laughs> I, I, I help them out. Right. It's like, it, it could it, be anybody. It's always the last person that you expect to you, you expect. Yeah. Right. Like, so like for us, there's some ones that, that we get referrals from on a consistent basis on the Medicare side. And they're, they're ones you'd expect, right? Like tax offices, um, you know, financial planners. We have a lot of those, but we also have like, there's this lady that was a decent member of ours. You know, we, 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 we got her, we just wrote her plan like four years ago. And for like the first year and a half, she would go to senior centers around her area. She lived like an hour from our office and she would like pr make off her own brochures about us. And I didn't even know she was doing this. Wow. She was like, she was like, she had her brother like ran like a print shop. So he, he was like printing uh, okay. off brochures for her and they were looking up online, our logo and everything. And I'm like, I do, I'm like, I, I'm like, I'm kind of uncomfortable that you're doing this, but I appreciate it. She's going to like laundry mats and putting up brochures like all over the place. And, and, and then like, we, we start getting flooded with referrals. I'm like, what is happening? They're like, we just saw your brochure up, up in Ogden. I'm like, we don't have any brochures up in Ogden. I'm like, huh? And it just, it's never like, we, we might've acquired like 30, 35 new clients from this lady doing this. Like it's wild. Sheesh. Um, and I didn't even know she was doing it until like for like six months. I was talking to her phone one day. She's like, she's like, she's like, I've been working hard for you. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, what, what, like, what are you talking about? And yeah, guys, it's, it's anybody and anybody, right? Like that, that is willing to recommend somebody that has any kind of um, like reach with anybody that is your target demographic. Yeah. I mean, I think doing a great job from obviously is the answer too, just because if you do a great job for them, you never know yeah. who like, you know, I, I, I always want to do the best job for everybody as much as I can. You know, I can get busy and, you know, sometimes the quality of customer service can dwindle us at, at, at times, especially when it's like open enrollment or anything like that. But if you just do a good job and then just sort of solidify that and be personable, it's not really going to be hard for you to have advocates like that. You know, you want those kind of advocates. They're, they're, they're the best. You know, they, they're doing street work for, team, for, for Christian for free. Like, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know what's happening. Um, I don't know what's happening. Speaking of events, guys, Tony Merwin in the house. Um, Mr. MC of every event that there Ever. is, it seems like, oh, yeah. um, in, including ours. Shout out Tony Merwin. Um but yeah, I mean, that's the other thing, guys. If you go, if you want to see, if you want to treat, just getting to spend time with event Tony Merwin is worth the price oh, of yeah. admission. Um, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> there's no one better to hang with late at night than, than Tony. Um, and that, that, that's a fact. I will vouch for that. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I mean, you can learn a lot. I mean, Tony Merwin's a wealth of knowledge. I mean, I I, just, I I like spending time with him just because we could literally talk about anything. Um, we're pretty similar in the fact that you know we're pretty, you know, we're pretty mellow guys. You know, we're we're, we're chameleons. We can fit in anywhere. Um, and he's just he has like seventeen hobbies that he's just like all <laughs> proficient at. Like he's just he's just like good at everything. You know, so it's like I have a, if I talk about something, he has like <laughs> yeah, a lot of information about this random topic topic that i bring up and we love that you know so it's like, not again yeah. oh karate i'm a black belt that's what i'm saying i was like man it's like wang chung and i forgot what else he did the, the other things that he did you know anyways uh, yeah tai chi and i was like man you do what <laughs> um so yeah i mean and tony I, I met tony at an event as well too just like how i met christian just like how i met eric just like how i met 
everybody else um, that that are you know sort of my brothers in the at conferences and you know real life at this point too. You know, I, I love me Christian Brindle. I love me uh, Eric Fierro. I love Tony Merwin. These are all people that Kung Fu. I'm sorry about that, Tony Kung Fu. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you know now i you know they're i can call them my brothers you know like if they're like christian comes to my town right and um he says hey let's hang out i'm down right uh but if christian says hey, i'm gonna stay here for multiple days you know i'm hopefully i can show you around and i know you're gonna say at a beautiful place in santa monica and you know i form formally want to welcome you to la you yeah. know yeah <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I mean, so that kind of stuff is fun, right? Because of the relationships that we've made. Now Christian is coming out to beautiful Santa Monica and, you know, spend some time with us. And I'm glad he is because I, I, I don't know anybody that's really came to California um, to, to, to do any type of events or at the very least show face to, you know, California has a lot of agents and, you know, there's, you have to, everybody needs help, right? And on a daily basis in that group, I'm like, hey, you know, I need help with this, you know, there's a situation with that. And, you know, just from me knowing by, by running that group, then there's so many questions that need to be answered. And there's so many little, little things that people don't know that that's common knowledge, maybe to, to people who are plugged into that, um, that, that event scene. But if you, if you're not, you know, it's not too late to get started. Hopefully the event that we're having, um, down in uh, Long Beach is going to be a, like sort of a, a stepping stone to, to get you to, you know, the actual events and, you know, we're, at the end of the day, we all just want to want to help. You know, Christian's coming out to basically just help, right? He just wants to like share knowledge and uh, and you know it's half vacation, but uh, you know it's it's always good to you know do it like that, right? That that's my style. You know, I want I want everybody to have fun at the same time. I want everybody to leave with a nugget or or five. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Jose Jose asked a few minutes ago, when is when is your event for 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 you, Andrew? So. It's April 2nd, right? Sunday, Sunday, April 2nd. At 1 o'clock, right? At 1 p.m. at Mescalero in Long Beach. So that's right next to where all the the ports are. And it's like downtown Long Beach, basically, if, you're, if you know the area. There, There's an event um, tagged in both Andrew's group, California Insurance Agents, and Seven Figure Medicare Agent. So, um, you should be able to find the event for it if you, you, you need the details or whatever. And, um, you can kind of see like the addresses there and everything else like that. So, um, we'd love to see you there, brother. Christian, um, as a speaker at most events, cause most of the times I see you're speaking, you're not, you don't really like, you're not a civilian. Um, <laughs> what's your, <laughs> what's your, what's your experience with, uh, with events? I mean, events for me have been humongous. I think um, from the time I started going to events up until now, just the growth that my my business has had has been crazy. And I think I can I can credit a lot of that to events, right? From from because it's it's only you only get to know somebody so well through social media, right? If you never meet them in person, like meeting them in person, it just adds such a it makes everything more real, right? It's a more real layer of, of your relationship. Um, you know, like I, I mean, part of the reason why me and Jackie Lacer, shout out Jackie Lacer, moderator of our group, um, you know, got to get, got to work together so closely as we spent some time together at an event. Right. And we got to spend, hang out together and, you know, like, like she makes me laugh. She's hilarious. Like she just says funny shit, you know? Um, but Jack, Jackie's cool people. And, yeah. but, but so shout out to Jackie. Um, but, but uh, like, so, so to me, like there's been so many business relationships I've been able to form. There's been so many personal relationships I've been able to form, um, through events. Uh, and, and I think, I think it's been a great thing. Like for me, even if I go to an event and I'm not speaking because of all the, uh, because of everything that I do, on social media for agents and with, with our videos and everything else like that, I get treated like I am, you know, like I went to Josh Lustig's thrive event last year. Shout out to Josh. It was a great event. Um, he did a terrific job, him and his team and me and Joanna went, neither one of us were speaking. Both of us got treated like we were speakers. <laughs> um, we got kind of shown the red carpet and whatnot. And that was really cool. But like, so for me, it's, it's, it's time to get FaceTime with agents 
you know, that yeah. we either work with. Um, and also it's time to hang out with people and, and learn myself. You know, I'm always wanting to learn and kind of improve what I'm doing. And so I'm always trying to take some things back to my office and, and, and I always have a meeting with my staff the, the day I get back from an event. And I usually will go over my notes about what I learned and we talk about things internally, what we can implement. So I'm, I'm there to learn too. So, yeah. it, it, and you know, I'm there, I'm every event I go into, I try to find the three or four most successful people. And I want to, I want to have as many conversations with them as I can before I leave. And so, um, you know, that, that's, that's really what I get out of events. It's, it's learning, it's the relationships, it's the net, it's the, it's the FaceTime with people. Um, and yeah, it's, it's events have been great for me in a myriad of different ways. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I see you at events and you're actually, you know, <laughs> again, you, you, when I see you at events, there's people coming up to you. So there's, I got to wait in line a little bit, but, um, <laughs> What I, what happened? No, that, well, that that'll be you at the event you're going to pretty soon. I guarantee it, because you're doing such a great job with your group, and um, you're helping a lot of people. You know, and people are seeing the impact that you're making. That will be you. You know, at MedicareCon, that will be you. At my event, that will be you. Uh, pe- you'll you'll be in the spotlight. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's not my end goal, but um, you know, I, again, it's just it's when you help people. I mean, you have platforms all over the place and sort of hard to miss you right so and and that's and that's great you know that's that's that you work hard to do that um you know my 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 main thing is you know i just want people to come together i I did a poll in my group and i was like hey what's the number one thing that you want this group to do and i was like hey because we have people that can do product training we can do people that can we, we have people that can do mindset training sales training crm training which we already did and the number one thing was, hey, uh, like, what, what do you guys want to do? And I did a poll and they're like, you know, it's an astounding, we want to do a live event. You know, we want, we want to show up to a live event. Um, and the reason is obvious, you know, this is going to be a, a, a stream, like just a shortcut even to getting your answers. You don't have to go on the forums and wait for somebody to answer, you know, if you're just like have something on your mind and, you know, we're all just hanging out and, you know, we, we could even talk about it in detail, you know, that that's the kind of stuff that you want. And cause that, cause then you'll think like, Oh, that's like not what I was doing, but um, that, that makes a lot more sense. You know, you have those kind of aha moments, even though it's a casual conversation. So that's, that's also huge as well. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. I think, um, you know, it's not every day guys that a local event is going to be in your area. Right. So like for you, California people, um, I'd make, I'd make it a point to get there, you know, like, I saw some people were like, oh, I'm busy that week. You know, I wish it was the next week. Like, guys, the next week is Easter. You, 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 the week after would not have been better, I promise. Um, <laughs> but like, so just make some time, right? Like if you got something going on, try to reschedule it, you know, like, because um, this is the, this, th- this will be an event that you guys remember for a long time. For those of you that are going, this is the kickoff event for like what you guys are doing in California. Um and Andrews, yeah. Andrews, Andrews, your leader for that. He's, 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 he's very necessary for, for California right now. And, um, you know, he's, he's kind of driving the ship in terms of like helping kind of lift everybody up, you know, like a rising tide lifts all boats. That's what Andrew's doing right now for California. So make it a point to get there guys. Um, it's, it's going to be a really, really good event and it's going to, it's going to be looked at very fondly in memory because it's the kickoff event for what, I mean, there will be other networking events that he throws, but, and he, and he, he hosts, but this will be the very first one. And you always, rem- and the first one is always like looked at very fondly, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. I agree with that. You know, my, my, my first event that I went to get, yeah, that was the first thing I talked about was that, you know, the, the, the whole Gil and Hendricks thing, you know, that was my first event that I ever went to. And yeah, you're totally right. I, I didn't think about it like that, that your first event is like what you like, you're like, Oh man, that was, that was great. That was a great event because everything else just starts compounding because you start getting better and then you start, you know, becoming more experienced. And, you know, at that point, not to say that the shine and the glitter doesn't like sort of like should fade away or anything like that, but it's just, you have a different kind of like approach to events. That first one is just, you're green and you're just happy and, you know, glad to be there. And, you know, just happy that yeah. certain people that you admire are talking to you. And um, then you're learning things. So I, I agree with that. Actually, I didn't think about it like that. 
it's it's exciting the first event you know like it's all so new it's all so fresh um right. and so yeah guys i mean i'm 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 definitely looking forward to to the to the california event in long beach you know that andrew's throwing i'm i'm really excited about it and um i'm just happy you know have the opportunity to be able to kind of be there in person and spend some time with you guys because and and you know come on i mean like it's been snowing all day here in salt lake like all day you know like i barely got to work i lived two minutes away it took me 30 minutes to get here like and this morning and you know it's just one of those things guys like you know i gotta get out of the snow gotta get some sunshine in my life you know well and, christian um so we've had the worst like we had a tornado here the other day <laughs> of course <laughs> we had a tornado here the other day we don't have we don't even know what a tornado is and we i <laughs> saw this video like pretty like maybe maybe about like, like 20 minutes away from me just getting this by a tornado. So we we had like the worst. Like California is basically not in the drought, right? It's been a lot of rain, um, like and 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 the winds are crazy right now. But Christian, but today was like the first sunny day out, and today was like the first day. It actually, feels like spring. And next week when you come here, and also during the event, it's gonna be like a cool seventy six. It's gonna be great when you come here. But right now it sort of sucked. But there we go. It's all about timing, baby. <laughs> hey. Hey, I would rather that happen the <laughs> week before that I pull up and <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. wild. Um, well, Hey brother, I, I want to respect your time, you know, like I, it's, it's Friday night, you know, I know you got, got things you got to pull up for. Um, and guys, yeah. I mean, if, if, if you haven't already go RSVP for Andrew's event, make sure to RSVP so that, you know, he has a head count. So he knows how many people to kind of expect for it. Um, but look, I mean, last time I looked, it looked like there was a pretty good, pretty good number of people that were going to be there. So, um, should be, should be fun. It should be really exciting. And, uh, it's going to be a really, really good event. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Bring a friend or two, you know, it doesn't, doesn't hurt to bring more people. Let's make it a party. Yep. hundred percent. Um, and, and, you know, like Utah has got some crazy alcohol laws. So anytime I can get out of Utah, you know, and get get a, get a margarita or something like that. You know that I'm always I'm always up for that. And well, I'll show you around. I mean, if you're, I, I'm I'm just gonna give this away to the public because who cares? <laughs> um, you're gonna stay in Santa Monica area. So, I mean, when was the last time you stayed in Santa Monica? It's got to be like so. It was my my wife and me, mine honeymoon. We spent a okay. night in Santa Monica, like before we jumped on like a cruise or something. Oh, it's, okay. So, it's, so you're like in Long. You're actually in Long Beach then. You're in Long Beach, probably. Probably yeah, you're in the cruise. So yeah. if you're saying in Santa Monica this time, I mean, that'd be great. You know, every time that, anybody that comes around Santa Monica, like Tony came to Santa Monica, um, he had a good time. So hopefully we have some good times to come. I, I probably have a couple things planned out for you. You like Korean barbecue at all? Dude, I do. We'll I, talk I'm, about I'm, it. We'll I'm talk up for it. it. I'm there for it. I'm there <laughs> we'll for talk it. About it. We'll talk about I'm... it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go. Um, and if uh, one more thing I wanted to leave you guys with before we end this is like, if, if you guys are watching this in seven figure, um, and if you're watching this on YouTube on the replay, um, cause we're going to throw it on the YouTube channel, make sure to join Andrew's group, California insurance agents. Um, it's a, it, it's, if you're in the California area, it's a great group. And, um, you know, you, he's done, he's done a great job at kind of like being a being a necessary leader like i said you know in that area that 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 is needed so great group andrew's doing a great job with it so go make sure that you check it out and join the group if you're not already if you're watching this in seven figure on the youtube channel yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well hey hope everybody has a great weekend um andrew thanks for doing this brother thanks for your time yeah, of course it, it's always it's always fun um and well yeah hope to see you guys in about a week here or so. So we'll see you guys next time. Um, thanks for thanks for tuning in and spending some time with us tonight. Yep. See you guys there. <laughs>